mean, those astronauts stuck in space now won't be coming home until at least late March. That is what NASA is telling us in the last half hour or so. You remember these two, right? Butch Wilmore, Sonny Williams. They've been stranded on the ISS since June after the Boeing Starliner craft that they rode up on malfunctioned. They were only supposed to be there for a week or so. Then their return was delayed by maybe some days, some weeks, then months. And if they stick to that deadline, the pair is going to have spent nine months total in space. Both NASA and Boeing have repeatedly said they're, quote, not stranded. And they've had multiple press conferences from space to tell people they are doing OK, even as some on the ground have concerns over their health and their living conditions. I want to bring in NBC's Marissa Parra, who's been following this for us, um, to talk us through what exactly is going on here. So now we got this push, Marissa, right till late March at the earliest. What are we learning? So what I can tell you is what we're hearing from NASA, I'm going to read this directly from what we got from them in this release. Uh, this just came down. Um, they're having this delay to give NASA and SpaceX time to complete processing on a new Dragon spacecraft for the mission uh, that is set for early January. So um, this altogether, though, Gasman, really not surprising. Anyone who uh, follows the space world closely knows that delays are very common. This just so happens to be a story that has captivated attention. Of course, Butch and Sunny, we've been talking about this mission for a while because we know it's supposed to originally be a week-long stay, just about. Um, and of course, now that has turned into several months uh, delayed time and time again, of course, for varying reasons, this being just the latest chapter, Yasmin. Um, let's talk about the health concerns here, right? Because a lot of folks have been concerned about their health, right? If we talk about the timeline here, I said, if they in fact come back in late March, they could feasibly have spent nine months um, in space. At one point there was talk about how Sunny, for instance, was looking very thin after having spent a significant amount of time um, in space. What do we know about their accommodations and, and their health? Right. So um, I will point out that there are astronauts that have stayed in space for more consecutive days than Butch and Sonny have been in. Uh, Frank Rubio holds the consecutive record, 371 days in space. So it's really, it's not unheard of for astronauts to have extended stays. Frank Rubio himself was not supposed to spend that amount of time in space. He was perfectly healthy. Um, of course, though, as we know and as we've covered, stays in space do take a toll on the body. It's one of the reasons why they have to be very vigorous and disciplined about working out and making sure that they're keeping their strength in space. Uh, we've talked about the effects that it has on uh, sinus pressure and on the on the face. You know, you can see sometimes um, the veins in their face bulging a little bit. Um, of course, we've talked about the various discomforts of extended stays in space, but we know that we have our crews, NBC, his own Lester Holt spoke to Butch and Sonny, and I want to play you a little bit of what we heard in that interview not long ago. How are you and Butch holding up in general? Does it take a toll on your body being in space that long? You can see, you know, part of being in space is working out. We work out a, a couple times, a, you know, two hours a day, aerobic and anaerobic exercise. You can see Butch right here and Nick right over here. Our bodies change a little bit while we're up here, and that's why we have to work out so much. Some people call it space buff. So you will see she kept she kept her smile up the entire time. I will point out that um, during uh, an opportunity where we all got a chance to hear from Butch and Sonny directly, that being an example, um, they had really good spirits about it. And when they were asked about how they felt about the repeated delays, they said that this is just part of what happens. This is what you sign up for. You know yeah. you sign up for as part of being an astronaut, Yasmin. Yeah, hence why we're not signing up for it. By the way, Frank Rubio was on <laughs> was on this show and actually said to us, exactly what you just said in your reporting, which is this is their life and this is what they sign up for, even if they spend 377 holidays, days in space. I would not like to break that record. Marissa Parr for yeah. us. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.